Jesse, you know, you were recently named to the Olympic team. What were the emotions going through your head when that was announced? Yeah, it was such a, a huge honor to, to to be named. My This is my second go around, so it's it didn't change from the first time it happened. It was just, uh, you know, filled with a lot of pride and joy. And I get to, the opportunity to represent my country again at, at another Olympic Games. Right. And, you know, vitamin water, what's going on here? You got a little setup here? Like, what's happening here with vitamin water? Yeah, we got a little bobsleigh push set up here with the cholesterol vitamin water, and they're a big supporter of mine, so it's actually really good that um, it, this this all worked out, that I could be here to help support them and uh, and their the, the new vending machine that they got set up. And a ton of people have been running through it, and I've been pushing a couple sleds. So it's, right. It's great. Are you a fan of Cool Runnings? You like that movie or no? Not so much. I think you have to if you're a yeah. sled athlete. It's like a mandatory. You must do. That's right. Sledding or football? What do you like more? What's more fun? It's tough because I love both for different reasons, and I miss football. Uh, you know, there's right. aspects I miss about football, not all of it. Um, but you know, um, the same thing will happen when I'm done sliding. It, uh, yeah, it's a great team sport, great people. You get to see all these different parts of the world and you get a chance to represent your country. Did you ever envision yourself being a two-sport athlete? No, not really. Right. It kind of came out of uh, came out of the blue, but you know, it's, uh, it's been exciting, that's for sure. Ever see yourself being a triathlete, three sports, maybe going into ping pong, MMA, something else after bobsledding? Yeah, if anything, it'll be archery or something like that. I, right. That's my hobby of mine, so, but that's, even then, that's I'd, highly doubtful. <laughs> you get a lot of support on Twitter. Like, how much does the fan support mean to you? It means a ton, and, uh, you know, it, it just goes to show, like, all the great people that know that we're all representing when we're competing and we're uh, you know going to the games and it, it's been fantastic I mean most of it's positive so that's right great, yeah. what's the nicest thing a fan has done for you or said to you or anything come to mind when in terms yeah, of that there's a, a fan and a, fr and a friend now um, who's a warrant officer in the Canadian military and this was back in 09 but he sent me um, an engraved uh, like artillery shell. Oh wow! Uh, that was that that he had sent to the, the Eskimos when I was playing with them, and personalized to me and stuff like that. So that I mean, that that was probably the nicest thing the fans ever done. Very cool. Now between now and the Olympics, what's going to happen? A lot of practice, a lot of training. Is that what's going on? Yeah, we're one third are done, and we have a full qualifying season. So um, we leave for Europe on December 28th. And we'll be in Europe until the end of the Olympics, um, with a couple weeks where we'll just do a training camp. But we have five more Olymp uh, pre-qualifying races, and then the games. And I'm sure you've envisioned having like the gold medal put around your neck. Uh, oh, when you envision that, what's going to be going through your head? They're playing old Canada. Like, what, what's going to be going through your head? A lot of tears down. probably coming down the face. I'll right. be one of the people that are crying for sure. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Any last message to fans out there? No, just thanks for the support and uh, make sure you're cheering loud from wherever you're watching from. Very good. Best of luck. Thanks.